MongoDB is running with any authorization as default, so you need to set up uh, some security, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a simple way. So first, let's just uh, uh, make sure we install uh, MongoDB as a service. So you can get the links and everything from the blog. And what I do is I'll download the zip and I'll copy all, uh, all those files uh, in, in that zip that's provided from MongoDB and put that on a folder on, on, on C drive. And um, let's create the folder MongoDB and the version as well, 3.2, and then paste those in here. And what we want to do is have a log folder and we want to have a data folder. So create those and then then you're good to go. So we have to set up our config file so that Mongo knows uh, where those files are. So um, we know now we have a folder for the log and we have a folder for the data. And we're adding the port as well, even though 27017 is default. So save this in your MongoDB folder and then mongod.config and uh, you're good to go. So next we will have to uh, install the service for MongoDB and this is just a regular service installer. Give it a name and set auto start and then run this. You have to run this as an admin to, to, to install this as a service and um, uh, it's created, so you can use uh, net start to, to start this service, of course, and then it started successfully. So let's look at that in services to see that actually is there, and it is. So um, from here, it's uh, yeah, it's running. So. You can actually check that as well to uh, to see whether it runs. To just start MongoDB, go to your bin folder and then run Mongo X, and and you will uh, see that it's connected to a test database, and uh, you see that this would fail if it wasn't running. So if you don't have any tools, uh, I recommend uh, Robo Mongo. It's like a really cool free tool. Uh, that you can install to to work with MongoDB. So I'm just gonna install it here and just give you a second to install everything and then run it. And now, yeah, finish. Uh, let's connect to our database. Uh, it's localhost and the port and everything is default and no authentication. So we can actually test this first and it's working. Save, connect, and you can see that there is a startup log uh, entry here. So uh, how can we secure this now? Well, we have to create a user. So create user, admin, password, and the root as role in the admin database. If I refresh now, you can see that we have the admin database and we should have a user as well. So still we can connect uh, to our database without uh, any security like this. So uh, I'm going to disconnect now and prove a point because if you now go into your config file, and if you try to, uh, and if you add the security and say that you want to authorize this, like authorization enabled, and then go into your service, we, we need to start and, and uh, we'll stop and, and start the service again. So stopping and then starting. And then from here, now we should not be able to connect. So let's try. And then connect, exactly. So now we can't sort of get all database, drop all databases or whatever. So um, we have to now uh, to connect to our uh, Mongo server, 
we have to authenticate. So we'll authenticate against the admin database and then add the username and password that we added when we created this user. And now it works. So now we're connected. So even though you have connected your, uh, or even though the, that you have credentials on your server uh, for a database, that's not enough. So this is where you can reach me. Thank you.